What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin yet again. Hit that like button and subscribe. Sitting at about six zeros one zero one one. I don't know, guys. Are we going to get those lower targets? Are we not? I, I'm not confident either way. It's like whenever I talk about it going up, it goes down. When I talk about it going down, it goes up. So it's going to go down. It's definitely going down. There's no doubt in my mind that we're going to zero. You know what I mean? Um, anyways. Anyways, um, I do like to see this reaction that it's having with the 123 closing above it this whole time, right? Giving it hell, literally giving it hell. It's giving us hell. We're giving some back now. Closing right above it. That is significant in my opinion. We found support on it a few times, and this this time here wasn't wasn't enough. We didn't get the positive reaction we're looking for. But right now, consolidating above it when it's been holding us down right after seeing the longest phase in this entire consolidation area um, where we've been below it, longest phase above it that we've seen. And now we're going we're going for round two. Um, this could be indicative of higher prices to come. And I do think that they're gonna go higher. I absolutely do. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the same old, same old. I'll just throw this fib on here to show you, right? We are likely going to go to these targets at five zeros one, one essentially, to five zeros two five in that area. We could go higher. I, I would expect at a minimum that we go to five zeros one one. That is my personal uh, target at a minimum that I would expect. And it all starts here. It really does all start here. And when we can get excited about that, when we know for sure that this is the bottom is when we get multiple days, several days closing above the 382 here at, at six zeros one three five three. My most recent purchase of Jesus Coin uh, for anybody that's curious that, that missed any of the videos I've made recently was essentially at this exact area. So if your question to me is, is it a good time to buy Jesus coin? The answer is always, but yes, I, I bought here. If it's good enough for me, I would hope it's good enough for you. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Um, I am in the top 200 holders of Jesus coin, just full disclosure there. Right. Um, and I do not plan on using anybody as exit liquidity, you know, uh, I, except for the people who I guess would buy it from me whenever I'm selling it. Um, I will do exactly what I've done throughout the existence of this entire YouTube channel, which is when we get to this area, if I'm planning on selling, and I, I am planning on selling up in this area, that I'm already telling you weeks, months ahead, right, of, uh, of when we're, we're, this is going to happen, I am planning on selling, but whenever I do plan on selling, whenever it's going to happen, I will make a video if not the day before, hours before. I'm not gonna make a, make a video or, or make a, a, a tweet on X. I'm not gonna do that and then immediately afterwards dump. I'm not gonna do that, right? I'm gonna be like, see, I told you before. And then no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to let people know whenever I plan on selling. And uh, some people might be wondering, you're in the top 200. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that just like screw you over a little bit? Like maybe, maybe it does. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I, I think I'll be fine. Even if, it, if, if I don't catch it at the exact top, um, and I probably won't catch it at the exact top, but I was calling for the highs over here and I even psyched myself out. I flipped, flip flopped a little bit, but there were, there were plenty of reasons why we should have sold here. The biggest reason being the, uh, the burn, right? Buy the hype, sell the news event right there. Biggest, biggest reason. Um, and people were still in disbelief. I was telling people that I was planning to sell the week before Christmas this whole time. And that was a week before, right? And I was telling people that I didn't sell. I didn't sell. I had the the, the burn faith in me. I thought that it would generate some more um, of a movement, but I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to be in, I, I am in love with this coin, but I'm not going to be in love with it at the top. I'm going to be strategic. Um, at least that's what I'm telling myself now, right? <clears throat> it happens to the best of us and the worst of us. It happens to all of us, man. Um, but I was transparent about it here and people were still in disbelief. There are plenty of people who are like, I'm not selling. People were getting mad at me. I got the first dislikes on my Jesus coin videos because I was telling people I was going to sell. And Jesus coin, we got a great community, but we are just like everybody else, man. Whenever, whenever somebody wants to say they're selling people, there are haters of that. Right. And, uh, I like, uh, I like Jesus outlaws. Shout out to Jesus outlaws, George. Cause, uh, he always says we don't we don't sell shame. He always says we don't sell shame. In fact, I'll just buy them from you. You know, and that, that I I think that that's uh, that's pretty badass behavior in itself. But but uh, some of you might be wondering because I, I mentioned the burn, right? We don't have the burn going for us now, right? But I want to I want to say something about that that I haven't said since we were you know back back in this time. And I, I said it several times, but it's been a while. I want to refresh everybody's memory. The burn itself was not a fun. First off, it didn't happen, right? The way that it was supposed to happen. Those coins are gone. They're essentially burned. They're gone forever. Nobody, 
will ever have access to them. Essentially, it got burned without getting burned. But the token supply, the maximum supply, will always be this. Come on, coin gecko. What are you doing, bro? No, not P. Come on. I don't know why it wouldn't load. It'll always say this. It always will. I mean, unless unless they fix it, maybe they'll fix it themselves, but I, I don't know. Because um, those coins technically do exist. They're just not in circulation, and they never will be. But back to the main point, what I was trying to say is that they were never in circulation. They were never in circulation. On this whole way up, they were never in circulation. It's not like they were in circulation and we were waiting on them to burn and be taken out of circulation. From a fundamental perspective, nothing changed about Jesus Coin. Nothing changed about it at all. It was a hype. It was an idea, right? Buy the hype, sell the news kind of an, of an event. People might be like, it, it can't go to new highs because it doesn't have that kind of driving factor. There's other things besides a burn that can entice people to buy more Jesus coin. First off, it going up, it's showing significance in its its charts, higher lows, higher highs, minimum price targets and comparing it to its current price, right? Like if, if we're talking about minimum price targets being literally over a 10x, almost an 11x from its current price right now, that in itself could entice people. <clears throat> it could go up halfway from here and still have a two to three X possibility on a meme coin like that entices people too, um, right? Even at its all time highs, I'm, like that would still be a two X to the, to the minimum expectation that would, and it would happen in a very short amount of time. Um, but beyond that, you know, we're not on any big exchanges yet, right? It's not on any big exchanges. There's people like Ben Armstrong who talk about it. And I have to say, after watching his live stream today, I'm, I'm a little bit less convinced that he owns Jesus coin. And if he does, it's probably a small amount. I don't know if he's actually um, a Jesus coin crusader or if he's just joking, if that's just like something he's trolling. It's, it seemed to me today because the way that he made his remarks with it it seemed to me like he i don't know he might not be that as serious as i was anticipating and that that's that's not encouraging but it's not that discouraging like whatever it's we, we were going to still move up to new all-time highs even without him um but maybe maybe he has <clears throat> maybe maybe he will continue to talk about it maybe he does have a vested interest in it maybe he's going to buy some and, and help with all of us send it up there i don't know but i after today's live stream where he mentioned it someone brought it up in his live and he talked about it. It just there seemed to be a bit of a sarcastic tone. I think he just thinks it's funny. I, I think this whole story that he made up, he's not actually gonna go to the Vatican, right? He he'll he'll say things like that and then he actually will go. Like like whenever he talks about going to the Bahamas to hunt down Sam Bankman Freed, he literally did that. But I think he's just trolling with Jesus Coin right now. And I, I maybe maybe I'm wrong on that, but I don't have any evidence to suggest otherwise. So um and I'd rather be conservative in my estimates than than overly uh, excited on them, right? But um, the point of the the point of the matter being, we've got a lot more going for it than just burn hype, right? We've got a lot more going for it than that. And Bitboy is not the only big YouTuber out there, right? Um, there will be, and I mean, I've, I'm not the biggest YouTuber in the, in the world, but you know, 7,000 uh, subscribers, 7,200 subscribers is not a small, uh, small number. Um, and there might be others who catch on, especially as it moves up, right? BitBoy himself, even if he's sarcastic about it now, he's the kind of guy, and it's not a good quality in my opinion, but, but he is the kind of guy that if it goes to new all-time highs, he'll be like, I told you guys, I told you about it when it was down here, I told you, because he'll just use that in his repertoire. Meanwhile, he probably bought like a hundred dollars worth or nothing at all. You know what I mean? He'll he'll just use that as fire to the momentum. But but that that story I just laid out, that possibility of a thing, which I could really see him doing, um, unless he is heavily invested in it. I don't know, or maybe not even heavily invested, but but decently invested into it. Um, <clears throat> I could just see that playing out and adding exit liquidity for us for anybody that wants to sell up there, or, or maybe adding fuel to the fire and sending it above even where I'm expecting it to go. But there was something else I wanted to talk about, just just essentially on, on those lines, that, that Jesus Coin now, if you liked Jesus Coin back here before the burn, it's fundamentally the same coin, just with a stronger community, more of a community, more holders, more of that strong community able to buy at these low prices. I'm one of them, right? I went from like the top 500 wallets to the top 200 wallets, right? Like people, diamond hands, buying at these low prices, 
from a fundamental perspective, I actually think that we've only increased our fundamentals. We haven't decreased them, right? We've got more reasons to pump than we did back here. And this was before the burn. So for anybody that's wondering, how are we gonna do this without the burn? The burn itself was not a fundamental event. It was this idea that everybody could rally behind. And I think if we had an idea we, that we could rally behind, that, that would definitely help as well. Um, you know, if, if, the, if there was like news about a tier one exchange or anything like that. Um, and shout out on that note, actually, hold up, y'all. I want to go to Maker Lee real quick. Maker, where are you at, Maker Lee? He made a post today and I commented on it. Let's see. Where were you? Uh, I, where, what was it? Did it get taken down? I don't, I don't think you would have deleted it. Let me see. It wouldn't have been, would it have been a reply? Maybe I need to go to mine and just go to the replies here. Unless Maker's got a, a person who's faking his account. I don't, I, I wanna go to my account. I don't wanna log out, come on, man. Messing with the flow of things, bro. Let's go here, okay, so replies. Right here, yeah. What was the post? This post was deleted by the post author. Oh, okay. Hmm. So Maker Lee didn't delete it, but but uh, the point still stands. I think it was Bit Forex. Bit Forex. Why would they delete their post? They that doesn't make. Hold on now. Time out. I'm. Hold up, y'all. Yeah, it was these guys. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience and concerns you have experienced in this period. Um, scam alert. We've recently notified or notice an increase in scammers claiming they can help. Okay, so that's, that's not that. Um, okay, oh, that makes sense, right? Yeah, people are probably like, oh, we can help you get your funds back. Oh yeah, don't don't fall for that. Anyways, what I'm trying to get to guys, for anybody that's here, and it's gonna be a very small audience because I'm sure a lot of people are done with this video by now because I'm not talking about Jesus going anymore, but Maker Lee uh, posted something and I was, I was just basically agreeing with what he was saying uh, and adding a little bit to it I forget what you said exactly, but it was just, it, it was like, don't trust tier two exchanges. You're like, this is why tier two exchanges need to go or something like that. And I added, I said, don't use exchanges that are based in China. They tried to do this with KuCoin back in the day and KuCoin had the foresight to move to Singapore before their HQ got raided. You guys, and I see 17 people saw it. Cool. I hope they read it and actually took it to heart. You guys, if you are using an exchange that's based in China, Get the hell off that exchange. Seriously, get off it. China flip-flops so much, so much with making Bitcoin illegal, with making it legal, with making cryptocurrency illegal. Like they, And they do this so that they can raid exchanges that or startups that are involved with crypto. They can raid them legally and confiscate all their cryptos and then they make it legal again. But it's theirs. It's the Chinese government. Like, like you, you want to talk about the American government being sketchy. The Chinese government... They do what they want, bro. And it doesn't every government do what they want. But I'm just, I'm just saying, um, KuCoin, they were about to get raided. Vincent, Phil, I don't even know who this is. They were about to get raided and Chinese authorities did a night raid on them. They didn't find anybody there. They found like, like cords, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, surge protectors, some computers, but most of it, it was like their whole HQ was just gutted and taken out and they re, they relocated into Singapore. And I, I remember I heard that they were going to get raided. So I moved all my funds off of KuCoin, but KuCoin was badass enough to just move out of China and they haven't moved back to China since. And I, all, all this to say, you guys, if you're, if you're using an exchange that's based on China, I don't care if it's a tier one exchange or a tier two exchange, tier three or tier four, whatever. If it's anything related to crypto and it's in China, stop it, move to somewhere else. Cause it, it's just a matter of time before it gets uh, screwed up and taken from you. And you will not get your money back. Absolutely. You will not. It's gonna, um, it, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, with that hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, stay away from Chinese exchanges or anything like that. I don't understand how, how or why people, haven't learned their lesson with that. Um, maybe it's just new people or maybe they think China's gonna be different at some point, but um, shout out to Maker Lee for kind of inspiring that train of thought. And I will see you guys on the next one. I don't I don't know why I keep getting this person because I don't, I don't follow them and I actually, I don't block because I don't like to block, but I click not interested all the time. Anyways, take care guys, bye bye.